Hey everybody, hope you're all alright. Hope you all had a good bank holiday weekend, fully rested, and ready to go for another shelf in the collection. I think we're on shelf seven now, we're getting through them. Still a while to go. But without further ado, let's crack on and see what we've got, shall we? We're at full stretch roll at the top today. Uh, kicking off with Gone with the Wind, classic film. Good fellas. Uh, at the weekend, introduced the rest of the family to this about the time they watched it. My son loved it. The wife liked it, which surprised me. Didn't think it'd be her kind of thing, but she really did enjoy it. My son's girlfriend wasn't so keen. Wasn't enough Disney going on in there for her. Next, we've got Good Kill. It's a decent Ethan Hawke film. The Good Liar, Helen Mirren, recently watched that, not bad at all. Good Morning Vietnam, I'm not the greatest Roy Williams fan actually, but I do like this one. The Good, The Bad and The Weird, that's a great Korean film. Good Time, I think I've recommended this one before, but I like this one, good crime film. Go tell the Spartans, Burt Lancaster. Larry sent me that one. He knows I'm a big Burt Lancaster fan. The Graduate. Classic stuff everybody should see. Grand Budapest Hotel. My favourite Wes Anderson film. Gravity. Overhyped. I find it a bit boring to be honest. Looks good though. Grease. I haven't seen it. Probably never will. Greatest Showman. Met. Great Escape. One of the finest war films. Grew up watching this at Christmas. The Great Wall. It's a decent film. Looks nice to look at. Green Book. Won the Oscar. And I really liked it. Thought it was a great film. Green Mile, classic Tom Hanks. Gremlins, fantastic, saw it at the cinema. I've got Gremlins 2, I think it's in the HMV collection, which we'll get to it at a further point. The Great, Liam Neeson action. Oh, this is a mouthful. Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Uh, and it's set in Guernsey when it was occupied by the Nazis, and it's a good film. I do like that one. The Guest. Brilliant thriller. You have, I think there's a super-duper 4K set out, which I won't mind, but, but that'll do. Gunfight at the OK Corral, one of the best westerns. More Burt Lancaster. Hacksaw Ridge. I need to give this a rewatch. I've only ever seen it once. I think I kind of liked it. Halloween, classic, classic, classic horror. Good John Carpenter. Uh, the reboot was okay. The Handmaiden. Now, this is a really twisty Korean film one that really gets you thinking. Really recommend that one. Hamburger Hill. Hateful Eight, not Tarantino's best, but not Tarantino's best is still a great film. Harry Potter 1 to 6, then the two Deathly Hallows films. Heartbreak Ridge, so many Clint Eastwood one liners in that one, really like that one. The Heist, The Heat, superb stuff. The Heat, not so superb stuff, but worth a watch. Hellboy. I just realised I haven't got Hellboy too. I'll have to rectify that. Hello High Water, good bank robbery things. The Help. Her, uh, bit overrated I felt. It was alright though. Hercules. Good Rock, 
Hereditary seems to be a Marmite film, but I loved it. I did. I thought it was brilliant horror. Hidden figures. Good stuff. Highlander, such a classic film. High Rise, I haven't seen that one yet. I need to get round to that one. I heard it's a very weird film. A hijacking, that's sort of like a Scandinavian Captain Phillips. I don't know whether like Captain Phillips remade it or it was a separate film, but it's quite good stuff. Hindenburg. Hitman's Bodyguard, watched the sequel recently, wasn't very good. And Holy Rollers, Holy Roly, Holy Roly, Holy Moly. Holy Rollers, that's not a bad underrated film. Some quite good stuff on that shelf, I think you all agree. Now we've got a pick, as always I do, a recommendation for you guys to watch that maybe you haven't seen. And I'm going to go The Handmaiden. Where are we over here? Can't see all the way up there. The Handmaiden, yeah, that's twisty South Korean psychological thriller. It really gets you going. It goes in directions you don't think it's going to go. And it kept me guessing all the time. So, yeah, give that one a watch if you haven't seen it. So, thanks for watching again. It's made me arm and me neck ache going all the way up there. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, like if you've liked it. Don't bother if you haven't. Give a subscribe. I very much appreciate it. I'll see you again for Shelf 8. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.